dum, dum. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What am I going to be talking about today? Well, obviously, the pre-release campaign is currently going on, and at the end, I believe on the 16th, is when this banner should be showing up, because that's how it worked on JP. At the end of their campaign is when the actual thing launched, so I'm going to assume it's going to be the same way. So with three days before it comes out, I figured why not look at Domen and Wittadab and Nosuna and see how they are. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a whole bunch, and I appreciate it a whole bunch as well. I also like seeing what you guys uh, have to say from time to time. Uh, and as I've mentioned previously in other videos, this is a very interesting banner. Mainly because Domen is crazy broken, and Suna has fans. So let's go. <clears throat> so yeah, this is what this banner is going to look like. We've got Domen, who is obviously the featured 5-star, and then we have the 4-star, which is Suna. Who is Suna? I believe it's part of Reiko's crew. Um, when I asked specifically, is there any specific people who are going out for Suna specifically? Because I had never... There's really just not much of Suna out there outside of jokes about his hair. There's really just nothing. <laughs> but there are people actually who want him and are specifically going for him, so I wish you guys the best of luck when you do. So let's go, and these are also the craft essences, Charm of Love, uh, Monarch's Temperament, and God's to- Oh god, I hate this CA's art so much. It's just creepy to look at, I don't like looking at it. Feels weird, feels wrong. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so let's go into it first. We'll start with Suna, who is a Saber, and he is one quick, two arts, two buster. His active skills are Eternal Arms Mastery, Anti-Demon A-, Increase on Crit Star Absorption of Buster Crunch for 3 turns, Increase on Crit Damage for 3 times 3 turns, The Buster Absorption is 600% at level 10, and the Crit Damage of 50%, not bad. Second skill is Discipline, Discipline? Disciple of Suetan B. Grant Self Evasion for 1 turn, Increase on Crit Star Absorption on Arts Cards for 1 turn, Okay. Increase NP generation rate for one turn. I had to check to see if does he have more than one, because otherwise this is not good. Increase on NP generation rate for one turn. Interesting. 600% arts absorption and 50% NP rate up for only one turn? Hmm, but it's also on the evasion. Okay. Third skill, severed armed of Ichio Moburabiyashi. Increase own buster performance for three turns. Ignores invasion for three turns. Reduces all enemies' critical attack chance for three turns. 40% up buster. Wow, for three turns. That's pretty nice. Uh, crit chance, 20%. And a five turn cooldown. Magic resistance A and writing B are his passive skills. His third append skill is a increase against berserker enemies. And his noble phantasm is a buster with three hits. Deals damage to enemies and deals an additional 200% against specifically Oni. And then increase own damage against demonic foes for one turn is the overcharge effect. The damage is 600%, and then at level 1, and then at level 5, it's 1,000. Uh, the charge against Demon is 20% bonus, and then at the end, it is 40%. And that's Suna, who is a single target Saber who is anti Oni and Demons, which thankfully, there's a lot of Onis. Well, then these are the specific Onis that we have here, but I could have sworn there was more for the enemy side. Uh, go here. I mean, we had an entire, like, uh, festival based around the Onis. There's constantly, like, giant raid bosses who are Onis that we fight. Are they not considered Onis? Is that what I'm learning here today? Male, super large, saber face. No, no, there's the Onis right here. Yeah, these guys. We fight them constantly, so it's actually pretty nice to have, and especially for um, raid stuff, because we do tend to always fight Onis in raids. Uh, let's see, about him specifically, he's a buster unit. That's pretty nice. Nice crit star absorption. The second seal is kind of interesting because it is an evasion, and, and you also would want to use it for its secondary effect. Very rarely are you ever going to be able to use both at the exact same time. I'm always someone who is a little bit anti the idea of your evade also being tied to a buff of some kind but I, to be fair i guess he doesn't really need it's more like i guess a nice bonus if you have the art stuff i would probably actually yeah i don't know about this one it's an interesting thing though it does add an, ex an extra wrinkle to the gameplay <laughs> which is if you're looking for more of a challenge a very good way of kind of seeing it that way 
But for someone who's like, ah, I kind of would have just preferred to either was a full on evasion with some bonus helping stuff or something that fully was about the crits are absorption on our cards and increasing MP generation. But hey, you know, that's not the way he was designed. The crit damage is also nice. The buster up is also pretty nice in terms of being able to be used with buster supports. Having a man, actually, that's kind of crazy. Having this on a five turn cooldown, 40% here, and then you get these skills down again, and you get an additional 40%, not including the other 50% that you're getting from the actual dudes. He should be able to do a decent enough amount of damage, actually. So I think he sounds pretty cool. He is not in any way, shape, or form a limited, so. Not the dude I would ever be going for, well, in general, actually, funny enough, if I ever did summon on this banner, I think I would actually want him <laughs> more than the other one. Not to say that he's better, just to say that he seems more cool to me than the than Doman. But anyway, he seems like a perfectly well-suited out servant, so if you're going for him, congratulations. I think the best thing you could ever ask for, for a unit that you actually like, is for it to be usable in some way. <laughs> Let me tell you, I had like a lot of units that are not usable and I still got them to bond 10 and everything. Would have really liked them to be a usable servant, but they weren't. So the fact that he's actually usable in some ways and this actually has some cool stuff built into him, I think that's nice. But that that's Suna. Now, that's in the JP side of the game. Let's go to the main go course of action here. Doman. A Shia Doman, aka this asshole over here. Um, active skills, ridicule cat, yeah, I mean, even his skills really make it drive home the point that he's just straight up an asshole. Reduce all enemies attack for three turns, reduce their defense for three turns, inflict terror status one time three turns, when activated five turns percent chance to stun for one turn, inflict confusion status for three turns to them, 30% chance to... Activate the debuff below every turn when activated 500% chance to skill seal. And inflict curse with 500 damage for 3 turns to them. The attack minus is 20%, the defense minus is 30%. The plus active chance is up by 40% and has a cooldown of 6. That's crazy. Dark Karma A grant self gut status for, three for 2 times 5 turns. Increase crit damage of allies with the evil alignment for three turns. Increase the crit damage of allies with chaotic alignment for three turns. Revives with 3000 HP, 50% to evil, 50% to chaotic. Meaning he is giving 100% to the evil chaotic, which he is what he is. Third skill, Curse of the Domain A++. Charges on MP gauge, increases the attack of all allies with the evil alignment for three turns. Increase the attack of allies with the chaotic alignment for three turns. Inflict Curse for five turns to all enemies. The NP up is 80%, evil attack up is 20, chaotic evil up is 20%, 2000 curse damage, and his passive skills are territory creation B, item construction A, magic resistance A, darkness essence B, high servant A, <laughs> hedonism EX increases on MP generation rate when taking attacks by 20%, third skill, god fucking asshole and pervert, anti alter ego attack damage aptitude increased attack against alter egos, Rank B, Quick, Noble Phantasm, I forgot to mention here. I believe he has two Quicks towards one Buster. Uh, his Noble Phantasm is an AoE 5 hit Quick. Deals damage to all enemies. Inflict the Curse status f with 100% damage for three turns to them. 120% chance to instant kill them. The MP level 1 damage is 600%. And at level 5, it's 1000. And then he inflicts Curse status for five, for five turns to them. Increase Curse damage on them. Uh, curse damage rate up is 100% at charge level 1, and then all the way at level 5, it's 200%. And that's Domen. There's not no key. So, let's get this out of the way. I don't like Domen. I actively hate him. I hate Shimosa. Absolutely everything. This man is fucking broken. This man is crazy stupid good. There's no... <laughs> he is basically the quick servant. <laughs> if you're someone who's still trying to run quick in any capacity... He's basically your dude. He's your guy. He's the one you get. This is insane. What is this? This is stupid. At 80% MP charge. <laughs> As I've said before, if you're a quick server and you either want a big MP charger or you want a lot of MP gain, 80% is more than enough, especially because at level 1 is just straight up 50%. That's better than a lot of charges that are at level 10 that give 50%. That's crazy. 
Evil and Chaotic should apply to him, so he's also getting 40% attack for 3 turns. The Inflicting Curse is actually nice to go with his actual ability here. It's more like an added bonus of just getting some curse in as well. The second skill! This is stupid as well! He has a Guts that just activates twice <laughs> in 5 turns. And this is a 7 turn cooldown. Pretty nice. Crit damage up 50%, 50%, 100% if you share both evil and chaotic. It doesn't even apply. This is dumb. You know how hard it is to forget the Suna over here. Where, where, where the fuck is Suna, my boy? We go all the way back now. Oh, I went too far back. Uh, it's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to go here. <laughs> Let's look at Suna, who is a 4 star, so maybe not the most fair comparison, but we'll look at Suna. To get his crit damage for 3 times, 3 turns, 50%. 3 times in 3 turns, it's not even the full damn 3 turns. They just said 3 times in 3 turns, he can have 50% crit damage. And that's it. And Doman, if you're chaotic and evil, says have 100% for 3 turns. That's stupid. That's dumb. That's crazy good. And then first skill, ridicule cat. I, there's no, there's no reason for me to say anything. Look at this. This is just stupid. This is the the ultimate. The only thing this isn't good against is things that I guess are anti debuff. But if you're specifically, this is good for if you're fighting someone who's in a sort of challenge situation. You just want to quickly hit them all with some disruption. But this also works for um, looping as well because the defense minus can actually come in pretty clutch for a lot of. Uh, Specific fights that um, maybe you need just that little bit of extra damage to finish off That's crazy stupid good this this guy is just built stupid strong and he's very good There's no doubt in my mind that he is 100% worth having And it really sucks that I don't like him, so I don't want him But for the people who do god damn you guys have the dude this guy is <laughs> I think the this, I remember this last year because this was definitely the year where it was like because I'm not a big fan of Muramasa, but there's no denying Muramasa is one of the best units in the game, and I'm very similar in the feeling of Domen where I'm like I don't like Domen at all. I hate him more than I hate Muramasa for sure. I don't like this guy at all, um, in any capacity, and they made him probably one of the craziest bonkers dudes you could imagine. So for the fans of him. Remember what I said about Suna is that the best thing that you can hope for is a unit that you like and that is actually usable? Yeah, that's this guy. If you can use use him to loop, use him to make some kind of weird chaotic evil build, do whatever the hell you want with him. He's just that good. And then later on he gets a summer costume, which is really funny. <laughs> actually, his final um, uh, ascension stage is actually funny here too. Uh, I won't show it off in case there's I guess, someone who wants to wait for it. Everyone knows it at this point because it's two years old. But it is really funny. Um... Yeah, there's these two. This is tough. Um, the main reason I'm actually not summoning, because I have gra I have used units I don't like in the past as actual things. The reason I'm not summoning is because Ibuki's right around the corner. And Ibuki is not as good as Domen in any capacity, but I really like Ibuki, so I've decided to make my case and try for her there. There's just not enough sank quartz in the world unless I had unlimited money to get the dudes before pity happens. It's just not happening. You gotta pick your battle. So, for this battle, I'm considering it a loss. There's no way for me to get them. But it's definitely worth summoning for, I think. Um, if you're someone who's like, uh, who you would, would, um... Why am I slipping on my words? If you're someone who's specifically like, hey, what about him and Muramasa? Because obviously a lot of people are saving up for Muramasa. That's everyone's dude. Uh, I do think Muramasa is better than uh, Domen for a long stretch of the period. And a lot of it does also have to come with the fact that uh, Ards is currently better. But I think even, even if you look at them as a unit side by side, I think even with how crazy, stupid, good Domen is as I read everything here, as I looked through everything and went, God damn, I forgot how stupid they built this man. I think Muramasa is still better than him, <laughs> even when you don't factor it as supports. So if you're someone who's like, I definitely like both of these dudes and I don't have enough money or quartz to justify summoning for both and want my best chance of at least one of them i would say continue waiting for muramasa i think that's a pretty good idea but if you're someone who's like uh maybe a little bit more quick focused don't have a lot of art stuff i would say eh, maybe you could lean towards doman but 
honestly, I think Mormoss is just on a different kind of level at the moment. So, you know, maybe it's... As always, use your own precaution, but that's my specific advice. Choose to take it or not. And that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you are summoning for these dudes when they come out, I wish you all the best of luck. I may not like Domin, but I like all you guys. And I wish you nothing but the best in actually being able to get your dude. I assume you guys would be the same. I, I know they're specific servants. I have a friend who actively hates one of my, the, my, my favorite servants. And I constantly talk to him about it. And the best you can do is say, I don't like this person, but I like you. Therefore, I wish you the best of luck. And here's and enjoy the nice art. And that's the best I think you can hope for in Fate Grand Order. We as a group of people playing this game at least. But anyway, I'm rambling on. That's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time. Bye-bye. Peace out.